In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the FV function in Google Sheets. What this function does is it will calculate the future value of an investment that has constant periodic payments and a constant interest rate. So making this kind of calculation without using this function would take a lot more steps and a lot more time. This function makes it very efficient to make this kind of calculation in your spreadsheet. So. In this example, what I'm going to show is calculating this for an investment that has a 4% annual interest rate with a monthly payment amount of $500 that is paid over a period of two years with monthly payments. So there's 24 payments once a month for two years. And what I'm going to do is use this FV function to calculate the final value or the future value of this investment after these two years. So before I show you how to actually set up this formula, let's go over the syntax. So this is the syntax of the FV function. So the first argument of the function is the interest rate for the investment. And then next is the number of periods, which is the number of payments to be made. The next argument is the payment amount, and that is the amount that is paid each period. And then there's two optional arguments at the end. So the first optional argument is present value, and this is the current value of the investment, and it's going to be set to zero by default if you do not provide this within the function. The next optional argument is end or beginning, and what this does is it controls whether payments are made at the beginning or end of each period. And so this is going to be set to zero by default, and zero means payments are due at the end of each period, where one will calculate it with payments due at the beginning of each period. So the most important thing to remember when using this function is that you need to make sure your interest rate, your number of periods, and your payment amounts are consistent with each other. And so I just have a few examples here to kind of clarify what I mean by this. So if you have a 12 month loan that is paid quarterly, you're going to have to take the annual interest rate and divide it by four because the annual interest rate is the yearly interest rate, but it's paid quarterly. So it's going to be divided by four for the four quarters of a year. And then number of payments, if you're paying quarterly and your term is one year, is also going to be four because there's only four quarters in a year. So this is what I mean by you have to make sure all of these are consistent with each other. So if you have a 24 month loan that is paid quarterly, annual interest rate is again going to be divided by four, but this time number of payments will be eight because you're paying quarterly for two years. Now if you have a 12 month loan, so a one year loan with payments made monthly, you're going to take the annual interest rate and divide it by 12 and then your number of payments will also be 12 because there's one payment for each month of the year. So this is the most important thing to remember when using this function is that these need to be consistent with each other. So now that I've gone over the syntax, let's take a look at how to actually set up this formula in your spreadsheet. So again, what I have here is a investment with a 4% annual interest rate with a monthly payment amount of 500 so it's negative 500 because it's a payment amount which is paid over two years paid monthly so there's 24 payments so what my formula is going to be is equals FV and then I'm pressing tab on my keyboard to enter the function so the first argument, again, is the interest rate, but I need to make sure that this is in consistent units with number of payments. And so I am paying this monthly over a period of two years. So there's 24 payments, but this is the annual interest rate. So to get it monthly, I'm going to divide it by 12. So the first argument, is my annual interest rate divided by 12 so we could get that monthly interest rate. Then I'm gonna press a comma and we're gonna move on to the next argument. So that's number of periods. There's 24 periods on this one because it's two years. 
The next argument is the payment amount. So that is going to be in this example in cell B3 because I'm paying 500. And then the last argument here is present value. So the present value of this is zero. And then I will add my closing parentheses and press enter to calculate the function. So this is the future value of a 4% interest rate investment with monthly payments of 500 over a period of 24 months or two years. And that is with payments that are due at the end of each period. Now, if I want to calculate with payments due at the beginning of each period, that would just be adding this additional argument at the end. So the first, I left it out because it's gonna be set to zero by default, which will do the end. If I wanna change it to calculate payments due at the beginning, it would be the same exact formula, but then I'm adding a one as that last argument. And so you can see the value does change a little bit depending on when payments are made. So that is the FV function in Google Sheets. It is a very useful function if you're regularly making these kinds of calculations because doing this without the function would take a lot more time and a lot more steps. So that is it for this video. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.